For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the normal force, share force, and moment at point C. Assume that A is pinned and B is a roller. So as you can see, since that last sentence told us, B only has a reaction going up, a vertical reaction, and A can possibly have a vertical and horizontal reaction. Therefore, if you're going to use a method of sections, you're going to want to use from C to the right. That being said, we need to find equivalent forces for these two distributed loads, which to our convenience are divided right at C. Since they're divided right at C, we don't have to worry about the method of sections. So let's erase them more or less. And let's replace them with equivalent forces. The rectangular force is acting right in between C and B, right at the middle. Let's call it F of Y2. And the triangular force acts one third from the that's one third from the tall edge. And let's call it FY1. Let's find them. Fy1 is equal to the 6 kN per meter times the length of the triangle, which is 3, divided by 2 because the area of the right triangle is length times height over 2. So that comes out to be 9 kN. And Fy2, which is the area of the rectangle, which is simply 6 in height and 3 in length, which comes out to be 2, 18 kN. So now that we have these two forces, we can easily find B of Y. So let's find B of Y. To find B of Y, we're going to do this sum of the moments at A is equal to zero. Let's assume clockwise is positive. So the moment created by the FY1 force times 2, because from A to FY1, there's 2 meters since one third of the triangle from the long edge is where it's located plus Fy2 times the length of the triangle 3 plus 1.5 because it's right at the middle of the rectangle which comes out to be 4.5 minus B of Y times 6 because that's the whole length of the assembly and BY is right at the end and all of that is equal to 0 we found FY1, we find FY2, we found them right here. So you plug them in and you solve for BY and you get that BY is equal to 16.5 kilo newtons. So now we're going to use the method of section and we're going to cut it around the dotted line I just drew. So you know that this point right here is C. You know that by is right here, by, which is equal to 16.5k. You know we got an f of y right at the middle, fy2, which we found to be 18k. And we know we have a share, bc, normal, nc, and a moment, mc. So, let's find them. Assuming this orientation for the x and y, you know that this sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero, so the normal is equal to zero. Sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero, so the share plus by minus fy2 is equal to zero. We know BY, we know FY2, so when we solve for BC, we get that the share it is equal to 1.5 kilo newtons. This is the normal. And the last but not least is the moment. Let's assume going clockwise is positive. So you know that this sum of the moments at C is equal to 0. So MC plus the moment created by FY2 times 1.5 because that's the distance from C to FY2 
minus by times 3 because it's the distance from c to by is 3 and all of that is equal to 0 so when you solve for the moment you get that the moment is 22.5 kilonewton meters and it's positive so it's going clockwise in our section so final answer for the moment at c final answer for the shear force at c and final answer for the normal force at c please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help Thank you.